Welcome back, Future Medicos. MCZ has released the round three provisional seat allotment. Surprisingly, they came the results slightly earlier than the original schedule, but that's good for students because they don't need to wait for a long time. And also, I'm going ahead with the video with the provisional seat allotment. I'm not going to wait for the final seat allotment. Generally, there is not much difference between the provisional and the final seat allotment. That's why I'm going ahead. In case if there are any changes in the final seat allotment, please do check the final seat allotment results and then compare it with the video. But as of now, I am assuming the provisional seat allotment and the final seat allotment is the same. In this video, you are going to see the cutoff marks for the management quota in deemed universities. You can call it management quota or you can call it deemed quota or paid seats quota, right? There are different names used, but I call it management quota. So we will see the cutoff marks for management quota in round three. I will show you the All India rank as well as the need score. I will also compare round one, round two and round three. And we will see the trend, whether the cutoff is keep on decreasing, whether the cutoff is keep on increasing. This will be useful for future candidates. Maybe the current batch candidates, this may not be useful anymore. But for the future candidates, this may be useful. Come, let's go and see the details. Okay, as I told you, we are going to look at the deemed universities management quota cutoff for round one, round two, and round three. I'm going to focus more on round three, but I may compare round one, round two, and round three uh, at some colleges. So let's start with the first college uh, where I'm looking at Symbiosis Medical College for Women, uh, which is located at Pune. This is a college that is specifically reserved for women candidates. In round one, the cutoff was 549 marks. Round two, it gone up to 581, nearly 32 marks increase. And in round three, it has even gone up to 607 marks. That is about another 26 marks increased. So round one, 549 round 2, 581, round 3 closed at 607 marks. So this is the main reason I keep on telling candidates, don't wait until the last minute for deemed universities. If you are seriously interested in deemed universities, the round 1 is the better time to get in because typically we see the cutoff goes or shoots very high in round 3. And as you can see from the icon I have shown at the last column, you can see that most of the cutoff has gone up. The red, the green arrow upwards shows that the cutoff has increased. The red arrow downwards shows that the cutoff has reduced. You can see that most of the top colleges, the cutoff has increased in round three. Right. Moving on, KMC Manipal. KMC Manipal, round one, 567, round two, 574. And in the last round, or round three, it has gone up to 605 marks. KMC Mangalore closed at 597. Once again, this college, 540, 545, and then closed at 597. Nearly like 52 marks increased in round three. Manipal Tata Medical College. Again, there is a huge increase in terms of cutoff from 507. It has gone up to 572 in round three. MGM Navi Mumbai. Again, there is a huge increase, nearly more than 100 marks the cutoff has increased in round three. It has closed at 555 marks. IMS Bhuvaneshwar closed at 550. You can see that the cutoff has gone up nearly 175 marks in round three. So you can see that good colleges, it's not easier to get in round three. JL and Belagavi closed at 535. Rural Medical College and Pims Loni closed at 521. Kalinga Bhuvaneshwar closed at 508. And then Mahatma Gandhi Mission Medical College Vashi closed at 506 marks. So these 10 medical colleges, the closing score is above 500 marks in round three. If you have tried these 10 colleges in the first round or second round, many of the colleges you might have got with somewhere between 400 to 500 marks. But in round three, all of them are shot up to more than 500 marks. Okay, moving on. At number 11, we have BV Deemed University Pune, which closed at 479 marks. Amrita Kochi closed at 471 marks. JSS Mysuru closed at 469. KS Egde Mangalore closed at 459. And then Amrita Faridabad. This is one of the very few colleges where the cutoff has gone down in round three. Uh, from 491, it has closed at 455. And then MGM Aurangabad, also the cutoff has come down slightly from 428 to 422. SDU Kolar gone up to 411. Uh, Jagadguru Gangadhar Mahaswami Galu, that is JG Triple MC Medical College. Cutoff closed at 409. Sri Ramachandra Medical College, Chennai. The cutoff closed at 373. The cutoff has slightly come down in uh, round three. Uh, BLDE Bijapur 
uh, the cutoff closed at 347. We can see that BJ, BLDE, Bijapur, the cutoff is more or less uniform across the three rounds. And finally, it closed at 347. At number 21, we have Siddhartha Medical College, Tumkur, which closed at 325 marks. MM Institute, Mulana, closed at 320. Uh, BV Deemed University, Sangli, closed at 305 marks. Uh, Yenipoya, Mangalore, closed at 304. Raja Rajeshwari, Bangalore, closed at 301. Wales Medical College and Hospital closed at 271. In round 1, you can see that it closed at 110, round 2, 113, round 3, you can see that it has gone up to 271. One of the reasons for the increase in cutoff in Wales Medical College, I believe, is uh, MCC has reduced the intake for Wales Medical College from 150 seats to 100 seats. I think that's the reason. It was not mentioned anywhere, but if you see NMC website, there is some confusion in terms of how many seats are actually approved or how many seats are actually permitted for Wales Medical College. There is a lot of confusion in NMC website, but I believe that since the cutoff has closed at 271, but still there are 50 seats uh, not allotted, only 100 seats are allotted in round three. I believe it could be because I think Wales intake has been reduced to 200 seats. That's what I believe. I may be wrong, but I believe it's 100 seats. So Wales closed at 271. D.Y. Patil, Navi Mumbai closed at 269. Uh, Krishna Institute, Karat closed at 262. If you recall, Krishna Institute, Karat has an additional 50 seats allotted for round three. In round one and round two, they had only 200 seats due to some issues with NMC. But finally, they have reinstated uh, the 250 seats. And that's why there is a drop in cutoff to 262 marks. Then Savita Medical College Chennai closed at 257. Datta Mega Nagpur closed at 247. At number 31, we have D.Y. Patil uh, Medical College Pune, which closed at 238 marks. JLN Varda closed at 236. Siddhartha T. Begur closed at 233. Then Meenakshi Medical College, which faced some issues with NMC and MCC in round one and round two, has been allowed to participate in round three, but with only 150 MBBS seats. And this college has filled all the seats in round three and closed at 229 marks. Then we have SRM Medical College Chennai, which closed at 201. Santosh Medical College Ghaziabad closed at 174. Chettinad Kanjiburam closed at 148. Uh, Sri Lalitambike Medical College in Chennai closed at 121 marks. Then we have three medical colleges, which uh, did not have any allotment in round three, which means, right, uh, there are no vacancies for Hamdat, SBKS and DY Patil Kolapur. In fact, Hamdat and DY Y Patil, there is no vacancies for round three. And also it seems like there is no one has moved out of the college during round three. That means no one has upgraded and seats has become vacant. That's why, right, you can see that there is no allotment at Hamdad or D.Y. Patil Kolapur. So basically candidates who uh, stayed with the college until round two, they did not get any other allotment. In round three, they stayed with the college and there is no vacancy in these two colleges. But SBKS, uh, probably you might have seen um, the reason uh, information from MCC that the number of seats in SBKS has been reduced from 250 to 150. So since they already have over allotted candidates, they have more than 200 candidates allotted by round two, uh, there is no vacancies and there are no new candidates allotted to SBKS in round three. Now, uh, these are the 41 colleges um, or maybe like these are the 38 colleges. The first 38 colleges are the colleges where all the seats had been filled in round three and you could see the cutoff marks. Then from 39 to 41, these three colleges, there is no allotment in round three. So we don't see any cutoff. And then finally, we have 10 colleges that is from 42 to 51. These colleges have not got all the seats filled up. There are still unallotted seats in these colleges. That's why I have not shown whether the cutoff has gone up or gone down. I have not shown because if you have applied, you, you would get a seat in these colleges. That's as simple as that. There are not enough candidates asking seats in these medical colleges. So Geetam Institute, um, Bharat Medical College Chennai, Mahatma Gandhi Pondicherry, Satya Sai Chennai, Arubadai Vidu Medical College Puducherry, Vinayaka Mission Salem, Sri Balaji Medical College Chennai, Vinayaka Mission Skarekal, Sri Lakshmi Narayana Puducherry, and ACS Medical College Chennai. These 10 medical colleges, there are vacancies straight away available 
immediately after the round 3 allotment that's why i'm not talking about the cut off if anyone who passed even with 107 they would have got a seat in all the 10 colleges now how many seats are vacant in these colleges if you are interested please wait for my next video in the next video i will tell you how many seats are unallotted in these colleges and how many minimum number of seats you can expect for stay around in these particular colleges i hope this information is useful thank you bye bye